Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Virtual Tennis 4 on the Steam Deck Steam OS. So this is actually the PC version. All right, it's not the emulation version. I actually have a video showing you how to run this game through PS3 emulator, RPCS3. Okay, so this is the PC version. So you can see this is the launcher and you can do some settings like resolution, um, anti-aliasing, shader model, uh, make sure you go to player one and you select the controller from keyboard to Xbox 360 that like enables the Steam Deck controllers to work. Okay, and we can launch it. So this game is no longer available on Steam. Okay, it's because this game is pretty old and it relies on games for Windows Live and that service is no longer available. So you can't actually launch this game even if you have it on Steam, on your Steam Deck. But I'll show you how you can fix that. There's actually a... Um, third-party plugin that removes the uh it, it's called xbox live x liveless something like that i'll show you how to uh download that and um, install it onto uh the game folder and then uh if you have the non-steam version uh, i'll also show you how to um, get it running on lutris okay so what's good about this because on the ps3 emulator um you couldn't do world tour on the later version on the old version of the emulator you could and then the like newer update of the emulator, it like messed it up and it crashes every time you uh, go to World Tour. So yeah, this is way better. And okay, I'll show you that you can even save, like it saves. Some, because I've read something online, people say you couldn't save it. Uh, I've, I didn't have that issue. So GUG Tennis, yeah, let's just leave it at that. No, okay. GUG um, Gaming gaming uh, oops okay I'm really bad at this okay GG gaming um, next okay okay let's just go with this guy start the world tour Australia Challenge. So this is one of my favorite games. Uh, I used to play it in the arcades, actually. Uh, it wasn't like Virtual Tennis 4. I think it was like 1 or 2 that was in the arcades. And then, uh, yeah, I did play it on the PS3. And yeah, one of the best games that I played. Uh, tennis games, I think. Uh, I haven't played Top Spin. I think people are now going for Top Spin. I'm not sure how it compares. I guess it's better because, you know, it's newer. Uh, but back then, this this was the tennis game, the best tennis game. Back then, like in the, I don't know, in the early 2000s, I guess. I had it on the um, PSP as well. So this is like the career mode. So I think you've seen enough. So, okay, I'll show you that it actually saves. Okay, so if I quit out of the game and I launch it back, I can still have my character created. So let's launch it. Let's launch it. World Tour. And you can see, GUG Gaming. So yeah, my character is still here. Um, yeah, and I'll take you back to desktop mode and I'll show you how to bypass that games for Windows Live. So see you back in desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check their website out using my link below. They're a gaming website that offer games at cheap prices and they can do this because they get their keys directly from the game developers. So cutting out any middleman, they buy in bulk so they can negotiate deep discounts. Okay, and it's not only for games. So if you're looking for other software like Windows, all right, if you want Windows license, they've also got cheap discounts on Windows license, even Game Pass. So if you need Game Pass subscription, you can also purchase from them at discounts. Okay, and I'm the official partner. So if you use my link and you purchase from them, I do get a little kickback. That's to support me at no additional cost to you. So thank you Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video.
Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need to do, if it's a Steam version, you need to locate your game folder. So if you install it onto your local SSD, it should be in your home directory. And then make sure you click on this hamburger button. So let me move it around here. Okay, so make sure this show hidden files. This is checked. We're going inside the hidden folder. So .steam, Steam, Steam apps, and then uh, here, common. So inside the common folder, you should have your game folder. So virtual tennis four. And here are the like game folders. And inside you can see here, it's got the xlive.dll. You need to replace that. That's the games for Windows Live. Okay, so then you need to go and download this. I'll leave a link in the description. It's called xliveless. Okay, so you can see about this file. This enables games that require games for Windows Live to be played offline without having to install games for Windows Live. Okay. So go and download this file. Okay, I've already downloaded it. So download this file. All right, I've already downloaded it. Okay, so it's right here in my downloads folder, xliveless.zip. Okay, and then I'm just going to extract it. Uh, auto detect subfolder. So it's going to create this folder. Inside, you can see it's got this xlive and xlive.ini. Just copy both of these and paste it inside your common virtual tennis for folder. Okay, so override it. And that's it. That's 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 how you run it. And if you have the non steam version of the game, okay, um, I assume you already installed it onto your, you know, with Lutris. Okay, and I'm using runner options wine GE. 826 okay you can use other ones you can use this lutris 7 to like a lot of lot of these work okay uh but for like this tutorial i'm just going to use this one okay ynge 826 and um you know i'm just targeting the launcher.exe save okay so if i run it now it doesn't work okay so the launcher loads and you can do all the setup and everything. But if I launch it, it says, does not have the privileges to access this application. Okay, so if you have this, what you need to do is in your Lutris, go to configure, right click it, configure, and then runner options, scroll down. And here, DLL overrides, click add. And what you need to type is game UX. And then the value is disabled. Disabled. Oops. Okay. Save. And now it works. Okay. See that? See the game just loads? All right. So, yeah, I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, if it helped you out, make sure you hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Like, you know, if you have issues, leave a comment. If you don't have issues, just say something nice and we can engage in a little conversation. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.